You've heard the whole, if a tree falls in the woods metaphor, right? Well, if a person gets digital coaching, but they don't get the most of their experience, did they really go through digital coaching? Hey everyone, I'm Michael from Ezra. And in this video, I'm gonna show you five ways to make the most out of your digital coaching experience. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so you can stay in the loop on all things coaching. All right, so let's dive in. Number one, understand what digital coaching is. Digital coaching is the process of a coach helping a coachee achieve a goal facilitated through digital technology. For a more detailed overview, check out this video where we break the whole process down from start to finish. Number two, set goals. Conversations with your coach can be helpful, but having a goal to work towards can keep you focused. We do this with Ezra Measure, which is an assessment to help identify some key areas to focus on. But either way, think about what your biggest challenges are and work with your coach to overcome them. On the business end of things, think about your overall business goals and work with your coaching provider to identify ways that coaching can help support them. Number three, select the right coach. Finding the best coach for you is more of an art than a science. Look at things like their experience, expertise, coaching style, and even demeanor to see if there's compatibility there. Number four, leverage digital coaching tools. There are a lot of digital coaching tools out there. The key is to focus on the ones that your coachees will use the most. The more you can integrate your coaching program with these tools, the better. In particular, you should focus on making it easy to schedule sessions, using reliable technology for video calls. And this brings us to number five, make use of assessments. Assessments are a great way to identify what to focus on and to measure success. With Ezra Measure, participants and their managers fill out an assessment before and after their coaching program. This not only helps to identify what to work on, but it shows where the coachee ranked before and after the coaching program. This makes it easy for the person to see how they have progressed, and it also helps the company know if their coaching programs are working. And there you have it. In this video, we've explored five ways to make your coaching program the best it can be. Is there anything we missed? Let us know in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, give it a like so we can get a virtual pat on the back. Thanks for watching and see you next time.